Hey everybody, welcome back to another Progressive Rock, Progressive Metal React, and today is Opeth for Duran, whose birthday was uh, a few weeks ago. I was going to play um, this song uh, quicker, but it didn't happen too fast. Sorry about that. But anyways, happy birthday, belated, and there's another birthday coming up for someone I'm going to be doing a song for up as well. Anyways, we're going to get to this Opeth song, I don't know it, so let's just dive right in here. This is from the screaming days. I'm aware that they don't do as much screaming now. Or growling. It. Yeah, it doesn't phase me anymore. I can listen to screaming anytime. It took me a while to get used to screaming and growling. Yeah, so it's changing the feel entirely now. I like the big space that the drums are in. It sounds like a, a huge, sounds like a huge cavern in the bottom of a castle or something. Well produced, though. It's dissonant, but there's still a strong sense of melody here. I haven't heard too much of their growling stuff. Growling is like almost listening to a, an orc from Lord of the Rings sing for the orcs. Oh, 
this kind of like 80s rush. This reminds me of Stephen Wilson. it off almost like a synthesizer. It was almost sounding like Metallica there for a minute. Not that I know Metallica all that well. a really cool tune. I like the the light snare work here.
hard to follow what they're doing there. I mean, this is fun. be good in a James Bond movie. An action scene. I love that riff the guitarist is playing. Can you see this in a James Bond film? This would be a great soundtrack. sounding symbols, eh? Oh, wow, man. That was darn epically cool, man. Uh, they got to reboot James Bond. Opef, you got to do a, you got to do the soundtrack and you got to do a, the opening number, man. Opeth would be perfect. So come along to part two. I'm just going to have a quick part two. I'm going to continue discussing in my post-react. And there's a link. We'll see you there, okay? I'm going to get the guitar out. <laughs> 